Puna Grasslands, Peru. A bare desert, rocky land, and one big nothing. Oh no, wait, there's Eureta. Eureta is a flowering plant that looks so unique, you might actually think it's photoshopped. That's how different it is from the rest of the desert. At first sight, it looks like some rocks covered in moss. But we're talking about a 3,000-year-old plant found in the freezing Puna grasslands of the Andes. This plant grows in packs, and they're so dense, you could stand on top of a Eureta shrub, and it'd take your weight without problems. Spotted Lake, Canada. They call it the most magical spot in Canada. In winter and spring, this is just a regular lake that looks like any other. But try going there in the summer when the water starts to evaporate. It'll feel as if you've entered a different world. A polka-dotted landscape with blue, green, and yellow spots. Over the summer, there are over 300 pools there, and they look magical. Over the centuries, people believed each of them had different healing properties. Oh, and the explanation for the vibrant colors is pure science. Each of them has a high concentration of different minerals. Rio Tinto, Spain For more than 5,000 years, the Red River has been surrounded by mines full of copper, silver, gold, and other minerals. They give the river its unique reddish color. People were mining that area for centuries until the whole industry started to fade out. The mines remained abandoned until they were rediscovered in the 18th century. The river is quite impressive, but it's also very dangerous for people because of its high acidity. The bacteria in the water create similar conditions that can be found in some other places in our solar system. For example, scientists believe there's something similar on one of Jupiter's moons, Europa. An acidic ocean is hidden underneath the moon's surface. Toyama Bay if you're walking along the shore of Toyama Bay in Japan, you might be lucky to see mystical neon blue light. It's coming from underneath the water and lighting up the night sea. There aren't many places where you can see a phenomenon like this. It's the firefly squid that's responsible for the breathtaking show. The creature lives at a depth of more than 650 feet under the surface. But in spring, they gather near the coast Sometimes, waves even wash them ashore. The light these animals emit is actually camouflage, which helps them to hide and protect themselves. During the day, the squids go back to the deep, but they come back to party near the shore at night. The light they produce isn't so bright you could read a book in the dark, but it's still quite impressive. Fly Geyser, Nevada, USA Imagine you're in a space rocket, at one point, you realize you've entered the atmosphere of some unknown planet. You haven't even realized it's there. The planet's gravity starts to pull your rocket down. Soon, it crash lands on the surface. Luckily, your spacecraft is sturdy enough to stay intact. So you pull on your spacesuit and crawl outside. Right in front of you, there's something you've never seen before. Incredible nature, unbelievable colors, and a bizarre mountain-like thing. And suddenly, it spews out a column of boiling water. You shake your head. Ah, this vivid imagination of yours. You're actually in Nevada, looking at Fly Ranch Geyser. Don't get disappointed, it's still marvelous. The geyser appeared in the 1960s when a geothermal power company drilled a hole. This allowed the groundwater to escape and the colors similar to those you can see in Yellowstone National Park? All because of algae. Speaking of Yellowstone, that's another place that looks as if it's been imported from another galaxy. On an area bigger than the states of Delaware and Rhode Island combined, there are more than 10,000 hydrothermal features, 500 geysers, and incredible waterfalls. Singi de Bemaraha, Madagascar. Now here's the place where you can easily imagine meeting some ancient animals. You can almost see them hiding somewhere among the pointy rocks going up to 330 feet. Half of this national park is covered in forest, and the other half is rocky, formed by the erosion of water. The place is home to many animals, like chameleons, iguanas, frogs, 
and lots of different lemur species. Vatnajökull Glacier, Iceland On your quest for the extraterrestrial wonders of our planet, don't forget to drop by Iceland. There, you'll find the biggest glacier in all of Europe. In some places, the ice can be more than 3,000 feet thick. Vatnajökull has 30 outlet glaciers ready to be explored. Those are channels of ice that once flew out of an ice cap, but remain stuck within the borders of the valley. As for famous Icelandic ice caves, they're formed when meltwater runs through a glacier, trying to get to the surface. This usually happens in the summer, when temperatures are higher and the water flow is more turbulent. When the temperatures go down, the water freezes. That's how the caves are shaped. Staffa, Scotland, UK Staffa is an uninhabited island that looks like a place from a different planet. Once you see it, you can't shake off the feeling it hides plenty of secrets. In reality, though, it's a calm spot almost completely taken over by seabirds and seals. Even so, no one can argue that the incredible rock columns give this place a unique and mysterious look. It's always encouraged local people to spread legends about the unusual cave. The columns themselves formed millions of years ago, mostly because of volcanic eruptions. Glowworm Caves in New Zealand Imagine finding an entrance to a magical cave. You row your boat, eager to sneak a peek inside, and get rewarded with one of the most beautiful views ever. You see a closed cave that looks as if it's under a magnificent starry sky. You don't need to travel all the way around the Milky Way to find something like that. Glowworm caves in New Zealand are there for you. The caves started forming millions of years ago, and now they have an impressive collection of stalagmites and stalactites. But what makes them really special is glowworms. The caves are home to thousands and thousands of luminescent larvae. Worms need to attract insects and potential partners. To do that, they use their tails that glow in the dark. There are lots of caves like this in the area, and people have been exploring them for over 100 years. Wuling Yang Scenic Area, Zhangjiajie, China. This amazing place has breathtaking sceneries and more than 3,000 sandstone pillars. They look as if nature decided to make its own version of skyscrapers. Some of them are half as tall as the Empire State Building. Usually, you can't even figure out where the pillars start. All you see when you try to make out what's there at the bottom is endless mist. Two natural stone bridges seem to be floating among the pillars lost in the clouds. The Eye of the Sahara That's a mystery that's remained hidden for millennia. This geologic formation is difficult to spot when you're standing on the ground. That's why it wasn't discovered until people started to explore space. For some time, scientists thought it was an impact crater created by some space object hitting Earth's surface. But after doing the research, they found out the origin of the eye was entirely Earth-based. These days, geologists believe the eye's formation started over 100 million years ago, when plate tectonics were pulling apart the supercontinent Pangaea. Molten rock, which was rising toward the surface, created a massive dome made up of different layers. Later on, volcanic activity and erosion finished the eye's look. Baikal Lake, Russia The deepest, the oldest, and one of the biggest freshwater lakes in the world is bound to have some secrets of its own. The lake is frozen from early January to May. In the summer, the water is so clear you can see up to 130 feet down. That's because melted ice from the Siberian mountains is incredibly pure. There are also no mineral salts in Baikal. Salar de Uyuni, Bolivia It's one of the most extreme places in South America. The world's biggest salt flat stretches for over 4,000 square miles. It appeared when prehistoric lakes evaporated thousands of years ago. A thick, salty crust extends beyond the horizon. At one point, you're not even sure where the land ends and the sky begins. The Atacama Desert, Chile The world's driest desert is all about rocky landscapes, salt lakes, 
dunes, and extreme temperatures. In some parts of the desert, there's been no rain for almost 500 years. With no water or nutrients from the ground, there are no plants. That's one of the reasons why you might feel as if you're on another planet, like Mars. But wait for the night to fall. An infinite sky full of stars looks like a window to the universe and its mysteries.